Hey beautiful people, it's a brand new week. Hope you had a splendid weekend. Of course, this is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we dish out the biggest entertainment stories. I'm a fellow Ocean Care, and I'm never here alone. I've got the tea spiller, Ewaritu, and the super intelligence, Benny Ak. What's good? Hey! <laughs> How was your weekend? Um, fantastic. How and you, yours? Benny? Super intelligent. You just you like to give yourself up. Can, can you just take your compliment and walk away? How you come with all of this, man? Like, super intelligent? Oh, you don't think you're like, super intelligent? Yeah. I think I'm intelligent. Super, I don't think so. I'm, I'm intelligent. Okay, okay. now you're trying to be modest. It's, 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 all, it's okay to be modest. It's okay, it's okay. Okay, so how was your weekend? It was, it was a blend of so many things. Mm. Um, a blend of so many things. At some point, I had that to. That doesn't sound right. A blend of so yeah, it's it a blend of so many things at the same time. Like mm. so many things so in many terms of events or in terms uh, well, of yeah, events like happenings. Okay. You know, like for one human being to experience all of that just within that short space. Mm. I mean, at some point, I had to I had to make an emergency impromptu journey. Mm. Wow. You know, and then at some point, I had when to you be, say Johnny, were you? Did you actually make the Johnny, or you were right there? And you no, I mean, no, I make no, I make. <laughs> like I'm not done. Like I'm not done that in like I'm not done. I'm not done like like um, like ten years where you have to you leave you leave Lagos nine a.m. and then you have to be back by nine p.m. Oh, okay. You know, so yeah, it was that it was that kind of emergency, okay. you know, and then um. And then you were not too sure what was going on with so you. It was an actual leave. Yeah, it was, actu it was an actual leave. Okay. And then you had to check up with I your doctor. I thought it was a mind <laughs> leave kind of thing, you know? <laughs> no, like, no, no. Because, <laughs> you know, when you said it, it was a blend of so many things at once. Yeah, like, that too many things happened at the same time over the weekend mm -hmm. for that short space for all of that. But were you able to get some rest? I don't, I don't think I have yet. Okay. Okay. All right, maybe yeah. tonight then. How was if yours? she will let. Mine, mine was. You guys don't want to know. I was stuck in traffic on Saturday, so. Oh. I slept here on Saturday. I went home yesterday, I went for the ovation carol yesterday again, and um, I got back to the office like 3 a.m. And here I am again, so we're grateful for life. We, we well, have to do this, the show must like go I'm on. like I'm the only one that had a very restful weekend. Yeah, you look it too. Yeah. Looking pretty as ever. You know, thank now you. Now I'm the flirtatious but <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we have a special guest, and she is the convener of the Cocktail Jockey Masterclass, which is set to take place on the 20th of December at the H Factor. She's a graduate of Material Sciences, Material Science and Engineering at the University of Sheffield in, United, in the United Kingdom. She's, she currently lives in London. She started off as a bartender in a local restaurant in London. The Cocktail Jockey has gained experience and knowledge on the bartending culture after working in the industry for about a year. She's a bar trained mixologist who has invested in showing off the beauty and creativity behind bartending to the world. She started off from summer barbecues to birthday parties and even private dining experience. This lady keeps grinding and she's just getting started as the cocktail jockey is only growing as a brand. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let's make welcome Jola Sun Onanuga. Yay! What's yeah. up? How you doing? Thank you. Good Thank to you have you on the show. Me. Thank you, guys. So, First time I'm having a one-on-one -on -one conversation with a mixologist without the drink, so. Okay. Yeah, so maybe it's about to be a different experience altogether. Don't worry, we're going to get that rude. We'll see. We'll <laughs> All see. right. So tell us about your personality and how this affects, um, and how this contributes to your mixing skills. Right, so my personality is bubbly, fun, you know, I'm always, well, not always exciting, but excited but I'm excited most of the time so having drinks in there is just getting positive vibes all around me with people just good vibes all around pretty much good vibes yeah. so is it safe for me to say you're drunk no <laughs> <laughs> let's, not, let's not go there no. but you do drink yes I do a lot yes Okay. Okay, so um, <laughs> how did you find yourself in all this how did you become a bartender what happened to be fair um, while I was in uni, I just started mixing drinks for my friends. We'll do get-togethers. One of my friends, she was always cooking for us, so I was always making drinks. And everyone was just like, oh yeah, your drinks are so nice. And I just kept going with it. Graduated now, looking for jobs. It's hard out here mm -hmm. after uni. But um, I took my time out, just decided to focus on hobbies. So I decided to go into bartending. And I did that for about a year, and I found out it was 
really like I just really loved it. I even loved it before I started bartending. Mm -hmm. So that just increased my love for it and decided to share it with everyone around me. Oh, great. I mean, female bartending, it's no new phenomenon for those abroad. But yep. in Nigeria, it's, pretty, it's a pretty new phenomenon. Mm -hmm. yep. How welcome and how receptive would you say it's been? People have been with you knowing you're a bartender, a female bartender. Well, to be fair, they've been pretty receptive, especially with the masterclass. Like, everyone's trying to get tickets. We've got a few spaces left. But um, it's, it's, it's really niche here. Yeah. So I'm trying to just... Bring it more out there, let everyone know more about it. You should be it. like just amongst the, 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 four, the foremost female bartenders we have right now in Nigeria. Right? Really? I'm, I'm not so, let's, let's not say if official. No, I'm, like. I'm not saying <laughs> I'm the only one. Yeah, okay. there could be like a couple. Yeah. Not a, there's not a handful of you. Um, I know, I know a few. Okay. There's someone who does the Lagos Margarita Fest in Muri Okunola Park. She's done one in November and it was, it was really big, but she's my mentor pretty much. Where do you mix? Where do I mix? What do you mean? Like, do you have a spot, a bar, a lounge where you... No, 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 I'm, that's, just, I'm gonna work on that's that. That's part of the grind. It's, it's, mm. it's, I'm looking yeah, towards okay. it, but yeah. Okay, so tell us what makes a good bartender. Charisma, man. You just have to have that energy. You need to get people to like you, like what you're doing, get people interested, just... Get okay, so people, basically it's really, about man. what you're mixing, it's about your personality. Your personality, definitely, that's, that's like the major one. Yeah. Definitely what you're mixing as well. If you're making horrible drinks, nobody's going to want to drink them. But, yeah, if you're making good drinks as well, people are going to want to keep coming back. But if, it's, it's, it's all a blend. If you have a bad personality, you're making good drinks, they're not going to want to come back because you're not, you know, very inviting. Again, if you're making horrible drinks and you have a good personality, they're not going to want to come back just because mm. you're a nice person. True. But if you have the mix, everything together, it, vibe, just, it, just, it just makes it Good work. vibe and good drinks. Yeah. yeah. How is that? Yeah, okay. I'll keep drinking as long as <laughs> the vibe is drink. The, the, the drink is, is good. good. Yeah. Right. So the, the, face, the face is also good. The look, mm -hmm. the look is good. Okay. That, that comes to play, right? Flatatious, I mean, physical, yeah, no, physical <laughs> appearance. Right? You got to be good looking. Like, I'm you don't have to be, really. but... But you are. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so um, they say anything worth doing is worth doing well, yes. right? So do I need to acquire any skill? Is there any um, education, educational requirement for me to be a good mixologist? Um, not necessarily. It's just practice. But to be certified, it gives you that much more of a level because there's so many intricate things you need to know about mixology, you know, even flair. Bartending, you know how they throw this stuff around and just make it fun. But there's different levels, but you don't have to have any major kind of skills. Because I started in uni pretty much just mixing drinks for my friends. But now I'm trying to train properly, go to bartender school and stuff like that. So. Okay, because I was going to say the people that um, actually went to bartending school and yeah. all of that, they'll just feel like you get crashed into the yeah, industry. Something so like that. What are you doing to give yourself that leverage? Yeah, I, the fact that I was bar trained, that's, that's already one step, but definitely I am still looking into going to bartender school next year. Can I like you know, in, in UK. Okay. Yeah. okay, so if you get a job today, are you going to quit this? No, I have she a job. She has a job. Oh, you have a job yes, and you yes. do this? Yes. Oh. Okay, yes. so this is like a passion. Yes, like it this definitely is. just is. your passion. Definitely. So yeah. how do you mix it, having your nine to five job and doing this at the same time? <sighs> well, it's, it's tough, it is stressful, but you just have to have good time management, make sure you have a plan, make sure you can work with what you have. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So do you sleep like drinks under the table for your colleagues, like, yo, I got you, man. <laughs> no, my colleagues are actually all alcoholics as well. So it's pretty much, I'm, oh, I'm comfortable well. there. So yeah. Well, <laughs> well <laughs> alcoholic is different from drunk, but okay. Mm. Okay, before right. we go, tell us one thing that Batten that knows that we don't know. Oh, that's a tough question. Oh, what can I say? What can I say? You know what? Well, hold on to that thought. Before <laughs> we go on, you're all about to be schooled as we have a live demonstration on how to be the best mixo mixologist. But that will be right after this break. Go nowhere. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child at the scene every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. 
Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, I did. Plus, TV we're feeling good. No time to do it. Everybody feeling all right. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself, minimal are you? Mm. Apala music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, woo! Sleeping early, sleeping early. Welcome back to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. And just before we went on that quick break, I told you that we would be schooling you guys on how to be the best mixologist. And we have a quick demonstration for you. And Jola, take us away. You guys ready? We are yeah. ready. All right, we're just gonna open our shakers. Okay. Put some ice in there. I feel like a science student right now. Yeah, man, it's mixology class. Mm. As much ice as you want, just a whole plate. As much ice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All of it? Yeah. Okay. Nice. You, you could drain okay. yours. If you don't okay, mind. I can drain mine. Yeah. That's right. So, today we're going to make a margarita, but with a twist. This is okay. pink lemonade. Normally, that's not in your margaritas. But pink lemonade, tequila, lime juice, and sugar syrup. Mm -hmm. We're going to put everything in our cocktail shaker, shake it up, and okay. serve. And that's it. And that's hey, it. That's yeah. it. Oh. Standard margarita. I yeah. think I could do your job. No. <laughs> Let's not go there. All good. All good. All great. All right. You want to make sure mm. it's secure because mm. you don't want your drink flying anywhere. No. Okay. Shake away from anyone. <laughs> don't you get that's, to a, do that's a cheap shake. Don't you get to do the special skills, you know? I, it. I'm not sorry if I have to teach you that. I don't want any hazard here. <laughs> well done, well done. Oh, catch. Let's go. Oh, Four yours. <laughs> All right. So. so open it up. Okay. Well, your one is going to be the top. Yeah. Okay. Some more ice. If you just want a bit of ice in your cup. Mmm. Looks tasty already. Yeah. Thank you. Hey, what got me? <laughs> Even on live television. You know. Oh, good. So now we just strain into the cup. Okay. Mm -hmm. Before I sign. As up. much as you like. Okay, so I, I'm a control drinker. Grab a lime to garnish. <laughs> okay. They've already been cut. So, are we not supposed to be wearing gloves just for hygiene? Yes, mm. we should, but you know, okay. everything's ready. For garnishing. There you go. Yeah. Grab a straw. Okay, so what's the measurement? What's the, what, what's the measurement of this? So, How this is 100 ml yeah. pink lemonade. Do you want a straw? Yeah, definitely. Pink lemonade, 35 ml tequila, mm. 25 ml lime juice, and 10 ml sugar syrup. The pink lemonade will make it sweet enough, so you don't need too much sugar syrup. But if you want it sweeter, just add more sugar syrup. Mm -hmm. And sugar that's syrup. it. So by all means, please try this at home. <laughs> yes, try this at home, please. <laughs> we can do. 18, and make sure you come 18, from my master 18, first. 18, 18, 18 and above. Yes, yes. Yeah, please. 18, 18 plus. Thank you. It's tea time, we know, but you know, <laughs> we're making an exception today. Okay, yeah. you want to talk about um, the, the master class? My cocktail master class, yes. which is on Friday, the 20th of December. This week, I'll be doing three giveaways all throughout the week till the event. At the event, we're giving prizes away as well, mm -hmm. alcohol flasks, wine glass bottles, um, vouchers, just a lot of free stuff. Uh, Charges, venue, power time. banks, Hitch Factor, Maloney Street, 26 Maloney Street. You can follow me on at the Cocktail Jockey. All the details are there. The time is 12 or 6 p.m., so whichever one you can make. Is it a free event? No, it's not. It is 15,000 naira for one mm. ticket, or 30 pounds if you want to buy in pounds so online. And but after yeah. that master class, will I confidently say, OK, mm -hmm. I'm going to mix all of Yes, you get a recipe book at the end of the class. Mm. So yes, okay. you can okay. do. OK, amazing stuff. So I think this is how we wrap up the show. 
on this episode of Tea Time. And thank you for watching. And remember, you can catch up on this episode on all, and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel, Applause TV Africa. You can watch Tea Time on Now to TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you, as always, goes to my co-anchors, Ewa Oritu and Benny Ak, and of course, our studio guest, Jolas Ononuga. Thank you for being here with us. And I am a fellow Welshinka saying peace and love.